we're gonna do a push up and then a row and then a push up and then a row got it all right we're gonna do 30 seconds of that here we go ready set go and a row and a push up and a row if you need to modify this and do push-ups on your knees that's cool too Try to make sure you're getting down as close to the floor as you can. Okay, last one, cool. So we're gonna do three kind of circuits of 30 seconds. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is bridges. So we're gonna go into bridge pose if you guys have ever done that before. And you're just going to kind of roll up and then roll down with your hips. So you're going to roll up and then roll down. And while you do it, drive your heels down into the ground. Suck your abs in. Pull your knees together. Start 30 seconds. If you want to make it harder, you can like pick one leg up. Ooh, that got really hard. Maybe walk back and forth. Ooh, yeah, much harder. Five more seconds. Maybe one more march. All right. The next one in our circuit is going to be these knee stabilizing exercises. So the first thing you're going to do is go into down dog. So kind of like this. And then you're gonna rotate your knees outwards while you keep your big toe on the ground. And then you're gonna drop your butt and your hips all the way down as low as you can while you're keeping your knees out to the side as far as you can. And then you're gonna go up on your toes as high as you can while you keep your knees out. And then keep doing that for 30 seconds. So push your knees out butt down and then up on your toes as high as you can go. All right, 30 seconds, go. Make sure you keep your knees pushed out as far as you can and your big toes on the floor. Whew. So this should help us with our knee stabilization for all of our lateral motion that we do as well as some ankle stabilization. Whew. All right. All right. And then our last one in our um, series is going to be leg lifts. So you're going to lay on the ground, put your hands under your butt, and suck your belly in so that your back is flat on the ground. Flex your toes. You're going to go down as slow as you can, and then just barely touch the floor. And then come back up nice and slow. All right, so 30 seconds of that. Here we go. Go as slow as you can and barely touch the floor. Or maybe don't touch the floor. Make sure you keep your back flat on the ground. 10 more seconds. One more, and we're done. Woo. All right, so we're gonna go a little bit faster this time and just do straight 30 seconds of each one. All right, we ready? Okay, I'm assuming you all said you're ready. Ready, set, we're gonna start off with our push-ups. Here we go. Push-up. Maybe next time we'll start, we'll do these with weights. Okay. All right. 
Here we go, flip over to do your bridges. Maybe you're doing one legged this time for the whole 30 seconds. It's much, much harder. Maybe switch back and forth. Ooh. Make sure you keep your abs engaged. All right, last one. And then we're gonna do our down dog flows. I don't know what those are called. Knee stabilizer exercises. Make sure when we're doing this, that you're rotating your knees out as much as you can. And then going up high. And keeping your knees pushed out to the sides. Okay. And then last one with our leg lifts. 30 seconds. Go nice and slow, as slow as you can. We're going to do one more circuit after this. We've got 15 more seconds of this. Go slow, even if it hurts. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, and one. All right. Back to our push-ups and our rows last round. Here we go. I'm gonna do the knees this time. Cause I'm out of shape. Yeah, I think these definitely need some weights. On the arms. Although I'll probably get tired or faster that way. Four more seconds. Three. Two, and one. All right, your bridge rolls. All right, we got like 10 more seconds. Nine. from down dog, knees out, and then down and back, keep them out, big toes down, calf raise all the way up, and all the way up, five more seconds, four, three, two, one. All right, last round of leg lifts. Here we go. All right. We got like, mm. now we have like 10 more seconds. I lost track of time there for a second. All right, that's it for that. So we're gonna do the um, ankle stabilizing jumps that we did last time. So you might wanna roll up your mat if you're trying to stay in a camera frame like I am, or not if you're not. Um, and then, I don't know, I need something to jump back and forth over, so I'm going to put my yoga mat strap on the ground so I can jump back and forth over that. But you guys can find a crack in the floor or something like that. Or just imagine that there's a line. That's fine, too. All right, so we're going to do 30 seconds of front to back with two feet. And then 30 seconds of, so front to back will be like this. And then 30 seconds of side to side with two feet. And then we'll do front to back with our right foot. 
and then front to back with our left foot for 30 seconds, and then side to side with our right, and side to side with our left. Okay, here we go. 30 seconds, front to back, go. Nice little tiny hops. They don't need to be big. Ten more seconds, and then the left foot. Ooh, lost it. There we go. Left foot. Here we go. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. 
Make sure you're pushing with your legs. And dropping things. I clearly need to work on my ball control. Alright, and that's it for 30 seconds. Alright, so for this one, we're gonna do we're gonna do 15 seconds of our right arm and 15 seconds of our left arm. So make sure you're bouncing it on this flat inside part of your arm. Make sure your elbow, the inside of your elbow, is pointing where you want that ball to go. Then we're still using good form. So we'll do 15 seconds right, 15 seconds left. Alright, here we go. Go. So switch to left. Oh, definitely works. Left arm is definitely the weak spot for me. Whew. All right. Great. That was lovely. All right. So now we're going to switch back and forth. So you're going to go right arm, left arm, right arm, left arm, back and forth. So like you're juggling the ball, but with your arms and passing. All right, so nice little passes. We're going to do 30 seconds. Here we go. Do it against this one. Let's start poking thing over there, though. 
it down on the floor to the yoga mat and we're gonna work on setting. So, let me roll my mat back out here. Whee! Okay, so when we're setting, remember that we want our hands to be shaped kind of like the ball. So a good way to do that is, or a good way to practice that is to go ahead and start with your hands on the ball you want to make a triangle, a little triangle, with your index fingers and your thumbs, and then curve the rest of your fingers around so that when you touch the ball, only the pads of your fingers are touching. And our motion is mostly coming from our wrists and from the extension of our arms. So we're going to start practicing with our form. We're just going to do some catch and release. If you are a more advanced setter, then you can go ahead and while we're laying on our backs, you can just do quick sets right above your head or probably right above your chin will be more comfortable for laying on our backs. But for those of us who are not advanced setters, we're gonna start with our hands on the ball in that triangle shape form that we want and then kind of spread them out so only the fingertips are touching and then you're gonna cat, throw and catch. And then make sure that your hands are in that little triangle again and only your finger pads are touching. All right, so we're gonna do 30 seconds of that. Here we go. And try to go straight up and down. And keep your triangle small. Mine keeps getting bigger and bigger. Keep it nice and small. Try and go straight up and down. And make sure you're following through for those flex wrists. So flex. And keep your fingers extended. All right, that's 30 seconds. All right, so if that was a challenge for you, then maybe keep doing that until you feel like you've perfected that. Um, if you feel like you got that down pretty good, then we're gonna just set um, for about 30 seconds. So that'll look more like much faster than what you were doing. All right, so 30 seconds starting now, you're gonna either catch release or just set a little bit faster. Just practicing those hands and that good form. Make sure you keep your thumbs and your index fingers pretty close together and keep that triangle. Make sure you keep your fingers spread out. All right, four more seconds. Oh my goodness, all right, cool. All right, now, all right. This is like the extra crazy thing. I don't know if you guys have ever been to a yoga class before, but sometimes yoga teachers like do something like crazy at the end um, just to see if you can do it. You're probably gonna fail at it miserably, but it's fun to try. So I kept seeing these as like setter drills on the internet. And some people call them Spider-Man setting, and some people call them scissor setting. Um, so basically, you're doing an ab exercise and you're setting at the same time. I haven't actually tried this, so it's probably going to be a miserable failure. So you're supposed to like set here when your leg is close to you, and then set again on the other side over here. Again, might be a miserable failure, so if you just want to stick with this, that's fine but I'm gonna give it a go and see if I can, see if I can do it. It's probably gonna take me the whole 30 seconds to, and it might just be catch releasing because I can't figure out my hands. <laughs> nope. I don't know. Maybe I'll just bicycle and set. I'm not even doing that right. I'm not real sure about that. Okay, maybe we won't do that again, unless somebody's really good at it. Um, we're gonna do one more set of setting things. So this one we're gonna do up against the wall. So if you wanna move your mat out of the way, you can do that. Um, so this one we're gonna start doing single-handed setting on the wall. So again, you're just practicing 
that extension of your wrist and that good shape of your hand. So remember you wanna, your hand should like fit the ball. All right, another way to do it is to see if you can um, take, put your hands on your, on your waist with your fingers spread out and then that'll come up and set nicely too. All right, so we're gonna try just one-handed setting on the wall. Um, we'll try 30 seconds of it. And then, so we'll do 30 seconds right, 30 seconds left and then we'll uh, move on to some baby two-handed sets. So, ready? Here we go, 30 seconds, right? When you're doing this, it's really tempting to like pinch at the ball. Make sure you're not doing that. Make sure you're actually setting with one hand. With that wrist, yeah, I'm definitely pinching at the ball. Five more seconds. All right, switch arms. Ooh. When you're doing this, make sure your right foot is forward. Oh, my goodness. All right, that's, that's good on that. Um, all right, so now we're gonna try baby, baby sets uh, with two hands. So when you're doing this, um, make sure that your right foot is forward and you're always pushing off onto that right foot to get your momentum. All right. So we're going to do 30 seconds of just some baby, woo, baby, two-handed sets on the wall. And make sure you're always pushing off onto that right foot. And that's where your momentum is coming from. All right. So remember, keep those hands nice and soft. Ready, set, here we go. Go ahead and start. Make sure you're pushing, keep those sets nice and small, nice and controlled. We're just working on our hands and practicing our form.
stretch your arm across. Remember, don't put any weight on your elbow. It should be on your forearm. And switch. And then we'll stretch our legs. So do a quad stretch. Oh, we didn't do a whole lot of squats this time. We did more upper body this time. And switch. Hello, triple horn family. joining us. Um, Wednesday we might try doing things with weights, but think creatively about what weights are. So uh, you'll need your yoga mat, but you could have like a bottle of water or a can of beans as your weights to just add a little bit of resistance. Um, or if you have actual weights because you're fancy like that, uh, then bring those too. All right, cool. I will see you guys hopefully on Wednesday. Have a good couple of days. Bye.